I apologize for the uh, quality of this video, but uh, y'all have to remember I had already made my cockpit and then decided I would make some for others. Uh, I had to pull mine apart due to a melting issue, and since I have it apart, I figured why not be a good time to show you kind of how to cut your thing. So in order to get that rear decking piece in here, you can see where I laid it and traced it. I just laid it and traced it on here. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to cut pretty much straight across the width of your instrument panel. And you can trim a little wider for the seat to go in here. Um, some of the custom tools I made was this short knife. It's an X-Acto blade that I cut off. And you're gonna need uh, maybe one or two of these cheap box knives. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna tell you that I found very useful uh, when cutting this and painting is the uh, get you a really cheap paintbrush and rip this off because you're not going to have room for the whole stick to get in here and paint areas that you cut you know once you cut everything will be white and you're going to want to black it out to make it nice um, a key uh, deal for this is to cut this notch out and that's going to allow that rear deck to go in here now uh, unfortunately I can't show you that on mine because my rear deck is drying from where I just painted it from uh, installing some wood pieces in it to uh, keep it from warping uh, I will show you that here one second so here is the uh, rear deck I installed some wood in it to help it keep from warping and I didn't really sand much of anything on mine. I just went ahead and just painted it. Uh, you know, if you want to spend more time in sanding it and cleaning up, by all means, that's your business. But, you know, <clears throat> it's not that noticeable. Once it's in here, uh, <clears throat> it'll look this fine, in my honest opinion. So, you know, I fly this jet. It's not something to be a, a showstopper or nothing, but, you know, each their own. I just wanted a little bit more details and a full pilot to sit in it. The other thing I could tell you is the pilot. I'm using a 10 inch Warbird pilot, the 1 8 scale or so. And he'll fit up in here like so. Now what you might be asking me is what I got these wood deals for. That's so that I could, I had this glued, see here I had one glued here. So I could take the seat in and out if I needed to to maybe reposition the man or change his, you know, put the yellow vest on or whatever. Um, that's what the wood was for. Um, but what I'm trying to show you is uh, basically just about how to get this cut. And you can go past this point. I mean, this is all just a guessing game. I cut as much as possible to leave just to be able to get this uh, deck piece in. And then this piece I had cut out, you're going to want to glue it back in. That little trim piece down the side, it was in here like so. Let me just show you. It was uh, in here like so. I trimmed this shallow side here just to put them wooden blocks in here okay that was the uh, whole purpose of that cutting in here and again that's you know using that short blade you can come in here and you could cut like that and trim okay um but you're going to want to trim let's call this an access piece i trimmed this okay so that way i could get the uh, rear deck to fit because it's it's so wide you're gonna want that rear deck to be able to go in here you know what I got the old rear deck let's use that since the paint's drying okay so here's the old rear deck that melted in the sunlight but so you can see now that slot was important so you can get this in here see that's what I'm talking about and then you want that to be positioned against that rear side of the deck there okay and then you can uh, now you can put 
that piece back in there, you know, with your foam safe CA, just tack that right back in there and then touch it up with some paint. So the other thing I want to tell you about is uh, I carved, I don't know if you can see or not, but I carved down an angle like this across here. You don't have to do that, but I did that to try to get my uh, throttle sticks to set a little deeper. I wanted them to sit just below the window ledge instead of, instead of being up at the top of the window ledge. I wanted them to sit just below. And I had them pushed as far forward as this. Now, when I when I trimmed that out, I also tapered off this right here and put these little pieces in the front, kind of at an angle. Um, you know, you could do it as you want. If you want them flat, uh, flat across here, or whatever. I wanted to give it a little bit more 3D uh, depth perception, so I went across at an angle. Anyhow, so once once my uh, replacement deck dries up in paint. Uh, this time I had to paint it because I put those wood blocks in there. So anyhow, and then I'll glue and touch all this back up with some with some uh, paint. But uh, so you need that access piece cut out so you can get that rear deck out. I promise you, it looks quite nice once you get it all put together and everything. So and. Uh, it's funny how the deck goes in real easy, but coming out always seems to be, <laughs> it's almost like it doesn't want to come out of there, but uh, maybe gravity plays a role. So I'll turn it right side up. Try to get this on out of there. Yep, that's what it was. Anyhow, so it's a tight fit, but you can make it work. And if you're using the uh, EDF version, you probably will have to cut off this lower control panel piece up in here and the pilot's legs probably for your lipos for your flight packs but uh, i'm not 100 percent sure on that because i don't have the edf version i have the turbine version <laughs> 